Hi there, I'm Panzer, and today I'm going to introduce you to the first episode of a series called Core. This is a guide designed with my normal template of non-stop information and no BS. It's aimed towards players that want to learn how to advance past the softlock found at levels generally below 5 star gameplay. If you have been searching for guidance on how to reach the top level of Hunt Showdown, stop. You have found what you're looking for. Now, as a quick disclaimer, I do not claim to be the best player within the Hunt community, not even close. I simply would like to provide information for my own personal growth in this game, and pass this on to you in hopes of improving your gameplay and overall increase the competitive population in Hunt. Okay, let's not waste any more time and get straight into the first episode. Today's topic, Control, the absence of fear. When loading into a match, you need to approach the round with one thing in mind, survival. Now this word is often associated with acts of desperation, despair and struggle, but I want you to think of it in a different way, in a controlled and calm way. The main barrier I have noticed with myself and fellow hunters is fear. Whether it be gear fear, FOMO or just general anxiety of loss when playing, you need to lose this attachment and embrace the fact that you will win and you will lose but you will always fight another day. You need to move past this mental barrier preventing you from reaching your true capabilities. Take a look at many of the top players, watch any stream or video from players such as Raptor, Archie and Huge and you'll see that there is an absence of fear. They enter the fight with no fear of loss when it matters most. And this is the main takeaway here, you need to push the boundaries and do the unexpected. You will die and you will lose, but with every attempt you will gain knowledge to build upon. There is no skill to gain with hiding, cowering and baiting. Work as a team, whether it be with randoms or your friends. Never be afraid to lose gear or dollars. This is one of the absolute worst things to see that has no place in the hunt. Money and gear is easily obtainable and the loss of which should never sway your decisions. And finally, the fear of loss or time wasted is one that held me back personally. Once I identified this issue, I started working towards a brighter outlook on results and tried to gain experience through every encounter. Despite often being frustrated, I ensured to find something from every match that could have gone differently and add this to my information arsenal for the next one. So let's look at some key tips beyond fear to really get a grip on your gameplay. The overarching topic is to never allow enemy hunters to dictate the fight. Now this isn't always possible, but if you keep this in mind, you'll see that you can achieve things you would never think were possible before. Let's run through a very short example of dictating the flow of an encounter in a 6 star lobby. In this scenario, I am left to fight a 1v3 in which the enemy hunters are initiating an aggressive push, with close to medium range weaponry. So let's do a quick analysis of this short interaction to help pick out some key moments to take note of. Straight off the bat, I immediately recognised the actions and movements of my enemies and determined their intentions. In this case, it was a heavy push intended to isolate and eliminate me with numbers on their side. With plenty of playtime, you can start to make these predictions and act accordingly. I choose to counter-attack and try to take the front foot away from them by taking peaks they would not expect in a full rush. Deploying your utility and getting damage in early is a great deterrent and can commonly decide the outcome of a skirmish. Because I had intentionally took some risky peaks, I could start discouraging players from their aggression, and you can see that towards the end of this fight I was left to face no one after dispatching a hunter and wounding another. And this leads us to our final point. Understand when to escape. Creating and controlling space is key to winning fights, and is part of the push-pull interactions you will face throughout higher skill levels. Never be afraid to take that split second decision to run and reset, ready for the next battle. Considering these impromptu points is just the start of developing as a hunter, over playtime you will develop game sense and game knowledge. So make sure to push yourself, always look for a way to break out of your comfort zone, because that's the only way to improve. I hope this first episode has served as an awakening for at least one person to progress further up the rankings and become a more competitive and competent player. If you enjoy short, information-based videos, be sure to look out for my upcoming videos discussing the ongoing meta in Hunt Showdown. Thanks for watching, and have fun out there, hunters.